If you could go back and look white belt Mark Russo in the eyes and give him a piece of advice, what would you tell him? Yeah, I would probably have thought about this. You know, A, take your time. Don't be in a hurry. Okay? And um, stay out of your upper body. <laughs> okay. Yeah, stay out of your upper body. What do you mean you by know? that? Yeah, it, it, what a, it, that's a good question. Uh, everything I had done was really being initiated from up here, mm -hmm. you know. And this idea of moving from your hara. I mean, you can try to use different language, but it's something you come to understand. Mm -hmm. And, you know, as we know as teachers, <clears throat> different language resonates with different people. Mm -hmm. So you try to throw it at them a bunch of different ways. Um, and I would start real early, you know, look, you got to figure that out. And then the second thing, which uh, I was at a festival and, they were, we had a QA and a thing, and uh, actually Hatsumi was asking, Hatsumi-sensei was asking, you know, what's the most important thing that you think you learned? And uh, it just dawned on me, um, and I responded by saying, you know, carving away or trimming back unnecessary tension and mm -hmm. movement. And uh, the translator told him what I said, you know, I said, ah, so, 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 you know, mm -hmm. and then, I was like, oh, wow, so I, I got something right here. And that just, that drove it into me, okay. you know, that, okay, how do I do this? Because that's a big thing, mm -hmm. you know. You're constantly carving away. I don't care how good you get. Mm -hmm. There's always some tension extra, yeah. and, you know, extra movement that mm -hmm. you probably didn't need. Mm -hmm. And that's what I love about this, you mm -hmm. know. I've been doing this for, since 1984, so and on that note, you know, any advice for longevity in training? How, how have you been able to do this since 1984? Well, I, I think part of that is, you know, I've always uh, worked out and tried to be healthy, mm -hmm. you know, keep my body healthy. <clears throat> As you know, I had a big health challenge this past year. Um, that could have been devastating, you know, and that wasn't anything I did or didn't do. I mean, you know, cancer is pretty indiscriminate. Um, but that would be my best advice mm -hmm. is, uh, cause I remember back in the day we used to, uh, very with a sense of pride say, oh, this is the lazy man's martial art. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't need to, you know, work out or anything. And, um, so I would tell people, no, just keep the, keep the machine tuned mm -hmm. up so it'll keep working for you, you know, as much as possible. And I've got. I mean, I got a knee that's I'm almost bone on bone on the left knee. I've had discs fused in my neck. I mean, I got a whole list mm -hmm. of stuff. And uh, people will say, I don't see it when you move. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I've adapted. Mm -hmm. You know, if you look closely, and I told you what to look for, you'd see it. Mm -hmm. But <clears throat> that's that is what I would tell people mostly is you know figure out how your body works, keep your body you know well oiled as much as you can and uh and you know as as we we all know this art is about how do you make it your own so mm -hmm. make make your own adjustments within the parameters of solid principles within the art what would you like to see for the future of toshindo Oh, man, I mean, that's easy. I'd love to see a whole bunch of people get it. That, mm -hmm. you know, this art is, hey, you know, being able to bust up uh, human bodies in a dangerous situation, that's like icing on the cake. Mm -hmm. You know, we're the best at that. Mm -hmm. We just are. But this is a life art. This is about, <clears throat> you know, you and I, even as crazy as the world is, in the next six months, the probability that we'll get in a physical confrontation, pretty low, mm -hmm. right? But we're going to get emotionally attacked. We're going to get spiritually attacked. We're going to get financially attacked. We're going to get verbally attacked, okay? All of the principles that we apply, that we study, you know, when we're out there being physical, those all translate into all of those different aspects of life. 
and they get in there even if you're not paying attention to it, you know? And so students just are always saying, I'm just a different person. Or, or somebody tells them, man, you're just, you're different. Yeah. You handle things differently. Um, yeah, so, uh, yeah, I would just like to see more people get that we are that different, mm -hmm. you know, as a martial art. Because there's an old uh, Chinese saying, you know, the way you do things is the way you do things. Mm -hmm. So I see some of these martial arts, their kind of mantra is dominate, dominate, dominate. You know, well, you know, anybody who's married knows I don't work all the time, <laughs> yeah. you know. Yeah, yeah I'm going to dominate yeah. every situation. Yeah, see how that works for you, you know. No, we've got these four strategies, you know. Um, that can be blended, and uh, this is a life thing. This is a life thing, and the other martial arts that I did, they would talk this stuff, mm -hmm. you know. They would talk about the spiritual side or personal development side, and it was all just talk, mm -hmm. you know. And that's why they say talk is cheap, because there's an overabundance of it, you know. Uh, but this delivers, you know, you will change. And you will not only change from the beginning, you'll change all along. You know, as your belt ranks change, you keep changing and you keep getting better and you become more of a master of your own world, right? Because we all, one sense we live in the same world, but in another very, very real sense, mm -hmm. we all live in our own individual worlds. And at the end of the day, that's what we all want is... Um, fewer moments of suffering and more moments of enjoyment and pleasure and that's how you would define mastering your life or mastering yourself so just like in the physical martial art a lot of you know what i said earlier is no i tighten up and i try to make some getting in my own way i'm causing my own problem yeah. Well, how often do we do that in life? Yeah, all the time. <laughs> all the time. Yeah. You know, I overreact to stuff, yeah. or I talk when I shouldn't have talked, or I try to make something happen when I shouldn't have been trying to force something to happen. And so it's it's all it's all the same. You know, your your taijutsu reflects your life. I believe that hundred percent. That's fantastic. If people wanted to find you on the internet or they wanted to train with you in person, how would they do that? Uh, the best way right now would be to uh, go to the website, which is uh, tampaquestcenter.com. <coughs> and then, <coughs> you know, just send a note in there. I do, I was real against Skype lessons in the beginning until I did a few mm -hmm. and I saw what we were able to accomplish. Mm -hmm. So I'm kind of a fan now. Okay. So, that would be the best way, TampaQuestCenter.com, and then just, you know, say, hey, I'm interested in training uh, yeah, at the school or, you know, somehow hooking up for privates or whatever. Fantastic. Yeah. Well, I so appreciate you taking some time to speak with us today. Uh, thank you all for watching out there. We're going to have even more videos in this series coming up very soon. And until next time, Ninja Every Day.